welcome back. So Aries, this is going to be a reading for the month of July. Um, it is uh, you versus them. So Aries, I'm going to pull cards on you, what your hopes, fears, next steps are. Then I'm going to pull cards on the person external to you, what their hopes, fears, next steps are. Um, just keep in mind that this is general, so it can be interchangeable. Um, and this could be pertaining to anyone in your life. It could be your current partner, an ex, a co-worker, a friend, a family member, whoever this resonates for you uh, during the reading. Also, do not forget to subscribe here and on my other channel. Link is in the description box below. My other channel is on YouTube, uh, Tarot Talks with Dana. So make sure you subscribe there as well. Also, check out my Instagram and Facebook and uh, follow me there. So, let's see what we have going on for you, Aries. Um, you have here, your overall energy is the Queen of Swords and the Five of Cups. Some of you might definitely be dealing with air or water. Um, and or, this could be the energy that you're embodying. Um, it definitely speaks about trying to secure your independence maybe after a perceived loss. Um, this could, like I said, be dealing with the person that you're involved with or someone you're involved with maybe going through this. So it's definitely a more stern energy that you're embodying this month of July, Aries. It's a much more independent vibe, so we'll definitely see how that plays out for you. So I'm actually going to keep it um, pretty general to start, and then I'll clarify all of it and get uh, super detailed at the end. So Aries, your overall energy for the month of July. Wow. So you have the five of wands here. If you remember, you had the five of cups as your overall energy. So, um, the Five of Wands speaks to me about conflict, but in this deck, it's not the traditional meaning. It talks about kind of looking from the outside in. So, somebody could be looking from the outside of your life, of your relationship in on you, and or you might be doing this to someone else. I also see it as like my grass is greener card. So, um, Aries, be careful with that energy, you know, if it is you. You know, looking maybe at someone else's relationship or comparing and contrasting, maybe not even relationships, just yourself to maybe where you're at in life versus where other people are at. Um, on the flip side of that, if this person is doing that to you, um, you know, be careful not to put out a projection of yourself that's not true with, you know, who you, who your soul really is, okay? So the card speaks to me or the message I should say I'm feeling right now is that this reading is going to be about projections, you know, and that's an interesting start. So <laughs> we'll get this person's energy person Aries is dealing with. come out all right so we have the two of Pentacles here I think that uh, this person's in a very stagnant energy why do I say that to me the two of Pentacles always represents that and it may not represent that for every reader but for me it does because this depiction is someone who's trying to do juggle or is in two different minds so when you're in this energy of going back and forth and or juggling too much, regardless of what it is, it, you can't move forward, right? Because if he starts walking forward, one of the ball drops. And I think someone is afraid of dropping the ball or perhaps they already have because the five of cups is here. And so... Um, that's an interesting energy to get. I, regardless whether someone dropped the ball or not, this person is, whoever you're dealing with, has definitely got a lot on their plate, okay? Um, this could deal with their financial arena, their career arena, but doesn't have to. Um, 
like I said, I'm going to keep it general and then I'm going to break it down. So Aries, how do you see the person you are dealing with? Get that card in a minute. Trying a different angle because I've been trying to get my cards in the... I don't have the best camera, but I'm trying to get my cards into the picture more. <laughs> okay. So you have the um, King of Pentacles and the Wheel and how you view this person. So, uh, again, you might go in a lot of cycles with this person. And again, I get the message about um, either too many people being involved in the situation and or um, a sense of projection. I keep getting that word. I just literally, what flashed into my mind is, you know, like one of those old timey projectors. Now, as the King of Pentacles and the way you see them, whether they're male or female, it's a much more grounded energy. So I do feel that you you see this person as somebody that um, is grounded but stubborn. You know what I'm saying? I think that there's an overprotective vibe here as well. Aries, if you're an, an Aries male, I feel that you feel overprotective over this female or there's some type of caretaking that you want to do, um, but it's almost a bit domineering in, in your energy. If you're a female Aries, I feel like that's kind of how this male behaves. They may be very domineering, um, even though maybe the intention is that they are a caretaker at heart, the way they express that or project that, it comes out maybe a bit egotistical or a bit domineering, okay? So, how this person views you, orange. So you have the King of Wands here and the Two of Wands. Um, well, the good news is they see you as the King of Wands, whether you're male or female, and you are a fire sign. This is a more mature vibe, okay? So I feel like this person, they do feel that um, you're at a crossroads, okay? But you're not moving either, or at least that's their perception of you. So they see you as, as looking at other possibilities, other um, opportunities, but not budging on it, all right? Not yet. Um, they definitely know that you have other opportunities out there. They see you in the upright, so I see that as a positive thing. I think that they are um, viewing you in a higher vibration than maybe they have in the past. Because I do feel there is regret here, pre predominantly on this person's side, but it certainly can be interchangeable because it's general. But I, I do feel like, you know how, well, we always change our perception of people based on how we feel internally anyways. So just because you see someone in a bad light today does not mean that you'll see them that way tomorrow. But the example that I want to give you is, you know, how like sometimes you don't appreciate what you have and then you see someone else having it or you see that someone, you see maybe that person doing better, doing well, and then all of a sudden there's regret or your perception of that person changes and now they seem more valuable to you than maybe they had. Um, that's the vibe I'm getting here. <laughs> For a lot of you. But um, for others of you, it's just, you know, 
like I said before, they see you at some sort of crossroads or being a bit stagnant yourself. So let's see. Towards the end, or let's see, next steps for July. You have the Knight of Cups. Actually, no. This is the Page of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Uh, be careful of any outbursts, okay? Towards the end of July in particular, mid-July to end July, end of July. Um, some of you might be dealing with a water sign, like I said, but I have multiple signs out. I have air and fire as well. Um, I always see the Seven of Wands as a defensive energy. But in this deck, it's more of a deceitful energy. So that is an interesting message to get. There's some... <laughs> Don't lose your cool, Aries. <laughs> there may be some type of emotional outburst here. It's like... Well, some of you want to be open to new love or a new beginning or new opportunities, okay, towards the end of the month, but, ooh, okay, but um, you're a bit closed off in your energy. I feel like you are fearful of being taken advantage of for some reason, or maybe you have been taken advantage of before in the past, and... There might be a heavy focus on looking back on that. And if that's the case, then the message is yes, you know, learn from the past, but also don't expect that for your future, okay? Don't get stuck in that trap, in that loop. You're meant to, you know, live, learn, and then the key is let go. Not to live, learn, repeat. Live, learn, repeat. You know what I'm saying? And... Yeah, that's the message that came to mind. So let's see what this person's energy is towards the end of this time period. So this will go out towards the mid to end of July. Oh, wow. So you have some repeating cards here. You have the Queen of Swords again. Now, originally when I pulled it out of the deck, whoops, it was in the reverse. But I per I don't generally read reversals in this deck, but I'll read it both ways, okay? And then the world card. Um, I feel that, you know, some of you might literally be dealing with air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Others of you, this person is matching your energy, okay? Because I saw the Queen of Swords in your overall energy, if you remember, at the beginning of the reading. And now it's in their energy at the end of the month, along with the world card. Okay, so a similar meaning to the karmic wheel, which is how you saw them. This person might turn their back. They might cut off communication with you. Um, and or if you might just have, just watch it. Because this person's not going to back down. <laughs> So I think that has to do with something about the emotional outburst here towards the end of July. Um, it's the sense of, it's almost like this person is repeating the cycle. Isn't that what I just said? I said, live, learn, let go. Not live, learn, repeat. And I really feel that that was for a reason. This person is doing the latter. Live, learn, repeat. Live, learn, repeat. They're very cyclic in their energy. They keep doing the same shit or making the same mistakes or there's something that keeps them in this stagnant energy. And it's for a lot of them, they're themselves. Like this person is the, sometimes their own worst enemy. And 
not entirely sure they see that. Um, and or don't forget, this could be your energy because it can be interchangeable, but I really feel it's mostly the person you're dealing with. I think that it's it's a it's a mixture of not being able to make up their mind, uh, a mixture of going back and forth. Um, you know, you see this person as somewhat fated to be in your life because I feel that you know, Aries, that you have something to learn or gain from this situation, um, regardless of what this is for you or who this is for you, okay? I feel like you do intuitively know that it is something to be gained as far as spiritual knowledge here uh, or in regards to the situation. Yet at the same time, this person here, they have the ability to push and pull those Aries buttons that make you go into the more negative realm. I don't want to say negative. Go into the more lower vibrating part of being an Aries. They have the ability to maybe make you lash out or doubt yourself. A lot of people may not know this about the sign of Aries because Aries, you seem so confident on the outside. But a lot of Aries have a lot of deep-seated insecurities. Listen, everybody on Earth has insecurities, you know what I'm saying? But I think people are mostly surprised that Aries do because you hold yourself so well, typically to the outside world. So this person has this ability to push and pull those pieces out of you. And here they are succeeding again at the end of July. And I, yes, I feel again, I don't feel this is someone new. But the good news is Aries, this is future energy. So you have free will. You can certainly decide how to react and change that behavior at any point in time. These are strong messages. So <laughs> now I, I already feel like it's pretty detailed, but I'm gonna clarify some of these. And, um, see what's going on. I just, <laughs> what just, uh, popped into my mind for some reason was, can you smell what the rock is cooking? I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe that's the kind of energy around you, you know? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Bring it. <laughs> If you're not from America and you don't know who The Rock is, go look it up so that you don't think I'm nuts. But pretty sure most of you know who The Rock is. <laughs> I can't do the eyebrow thing, though, that he does. Anyways. <laughs> so let's see the Two of Pentacles. I don't know why, Aries, but I always get, like, giddy goofy when I do your readings. It's that... I love the sign of Aries. I like their bluntness. And usually uh, Aries are pretty good sense of humor, you know. <laughs> All right, what's the two of pentacles? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Like I just said, when I clarify the Two of Pentacles, it was the Chariot. Now, I always see clarifiers as in addition to, not future energy. If you read cards, you know what I mean. If you don't, forget about it. But this person keeps themselves from moving forward. Why? Because they don't know which way to go, you know? What's interesting, Aries, is that this person also sees you doing the same thing. They either see you in a waiting energy and or not really knowing maybe where to put your energy next. But at the same time, I, they look up to you and or they see you differently. Some of you have changed your image. 
or are trying to change your image or this person is. Someone's trying to change the image of how they're seen or literally changing their image, you know, like how they physically appear. Interesting. So what is the five of wands then? The tower. Oh, wow. I got the Queen of Swords again. Some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, male or female, don't care. I also have a Leo out now. Okay. Um, if not, that could be placements in your chart or that just could be the energy. So, Aries, over the Five of Wands, you have the Tower. I do feel that there was most definitely a shakeup here within this relationship for some of you, a breakup for some of you, an ending for others of you. It was, it's just unstable. This relationship is unstable in some shape or form. Okay. And why? Because someone is on the outside looking in or too busy comparing you to maybe past partners or you're doing this to this person or you're projecting the hell out of each other projecting your own fears you know um onto this person or they you or both for some of you and that's where the karmic vibe is coming from right so um sometimes the people we pull into our lives mirror the things and pieces of ourselves that need to be healed okay and a lot of times these are karmic relationships that can be quite painful um other times you know they can be lifetime partnerships where you constantly learn and bounce off of each other it just it's going to be different for all of you but that's the vibe i'm feeling here over the knave of cups chalices in this deck I have the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Wands again, and the Strength card. So, you know, I feel like they're towards the end of the month, Aries. You're someone's upset here, you know. It's a very heavy energy. The Queen of Swords is out three times. The Queen of Swords don't. They don't fuck around. Excuse my language. <laughs> and Aries, I honestly feel that is the energy you're embodying. I just feel, though, that for some reason that may work against you, though. Because it does create turmoil here. And the Five of Wands is turmoil. And, but the good news is the Strength card is here. So I do feel that you are trying to overpower that initial reaction you know what i'm saying that's what i was saying earlier this person may be able to push and pull pieces of yourself out of you but i feel aries that you are trying to suppress them from either seeing that they're able to do that to you or from actually expressing yourself right because it's like all of this is going on internally this was like you know, feeling heavy, feeling burdened, uh, kind of being stuck in your head. This is a mental energy. Uh, this is turmoil. Okay. But what's trumping it is the strength card. So keeping all of that in check. And how are you doing that? You keep your defenses up. Um, but what do you really want? You really want to be able to let go of feeling defensive. You really want to let go of having to watch your back. You want to let go of that protective mechanism. I got, I got emotional there for a moment. <laughs> you know, I feel...
I feel that insecurity leaking out, but uh, you're tired. You're tired. Wow, I just got like super emotional there. Um, I think you want to not always be seen that way or not always feel that way. Um, to let the softer sides of you, to feel comfortable enough, you know, even regardless of this person to be vulnerable. And I think that that has not worked for you in the past. And so that goes back to what I was saying about the wash cycle of live, learn, repeat. And instead changing that frame of thinking to living, learning, and letting go. I hope I'm making sense to you. Um, this person at the end of the month as the Six of Swords over the Queen of Swords, you know, they're trying to move forward. They are. You know, they're trying to suppress. Um, like I said, for some of you that have actually had a break up, break up, this person might be suppressing a lot or on a higher vibrational level, meditating or getting some rest or really thinking, really thinking um, about the situation. And, um, you know, they want to move on. They want to move forward. But I think that they go back and forth. I don't really think they know how. You know, not just yet. And it's the sense of... Um, Keeping quiet until they absolutely positively know. You know, not for all of you are you not talking to this person. Some of them are just keeping it to themselves until they absolutely positively know. You know, but there is regret here. There is um, sadness, but there is a want to also have independence um to feel more secure and that's what's being worked on in the month of july for most of you but underneath all of that aries i feel that i feel a lot of emotion even though i don't feel even though I don't see, I do not visibly see a water, a lot of water out, you know, but I feel that that's the cover up. And it may not even be on a conscious level, you know what I'm saying? It, it may be on a subconscious level, but it, it's there. You know, the, the deep emotion, the deeper meaning, the deeper lesson that is thought about but not spoken is still here. Hope that's made sense to you, Aries. Um, that's what I have for you. I will do a mid-month July and check back in on the situation so you can expect this energy to run about the next two to four weeks, depending um, but let me tell you the zodiac signs I have out. I have a lot of air. Would not be surprised if you're dealing with air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I do have Cancer and Scorpio here. Uh, another Aries, possibly. Leo. Earth. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. So, um, yeah, let me know how that resonated for you. 
I wish all of the best. Those pla those zodiac signs I just named, because as a general reading, it could simply be placements in your chart or this person's chart, or it's just the energy around you in July. Uh, either way, I love you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe, and I will uh, see you soon. Until then, my friends, namaste.